Hey folks, William Holder from William Holder Realty here. I uh, wanted to add to our <clears throat> uh, set of videos we've been doing about being a buyer and the process of owning and purchasing a home uh, in real estate. So um, the last videos we did were preparing yourself for becoming a buyer and then also how to win a bid as a buyer. The next question is what happens after you've purchased a home, after you're under contract your agent or you has received that signed off offer stating the seller is gonna take your offer. Well, what's next? So generally, you have five days to deliver your good faith deposit to the listing agent's brokerage, right? Uh, you can either mail that in or drop it off or wire it, whatever is easier. You also generally have 10 days to inspect the property. That time period could be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, or it, you could have waived your inspection if you were trying to be um, competitive. Once your inspections are completed, you'll review the inspection report with your agent and you'll submit a formal reply to the seller asking for certain repairs or credits, if any, to occur prior to settlement. Once that, once that is negotiated, the seller signs off on it, you sign off on it, uh, then you move on to really mostly working with your lender, right? At that point, your agreement of sale should have been submitted to the lender, the lender should have already ordered your appraisal, and the lender should be asking you for paperwork, additional paperwork from what you've already provided. So updated pay stubs, updated bank statements, W-2s, anything they might need to continue getting you getting you to the to the table in terms of getting your loan approved. In that period, you're also gonna shop for homeowner's insurance, um, and your agent, in most cases, will place an order to have your title insurance completed. Title insurance, as you know, is separate from homeowner's insurance. It ensures the title of the property. It makes sure that when you sign at that closing table, you are getting that property without any liens or encumbrances that could come back to affect you. That title insurance agent is essentially saying, we're giving you free and clear title at closing. That title insurance company is working with the seller's agent, it's conveyancer, to gather all the information needed, any mortgage payoffs, any lien payoffs, tax certs, use and occupancy certificates. Those are the things the seller side does. As a buyer, your title insurance and your agent, your real estate agent are working to gather that information so that you can get to the closing table. After your lender has collected everything they need from you, after the appraisal comes back and there are no issues with the appraisal, and what are some issues you can have with an appraisal? Uh, you can have, it comes in too low, um, coming in too high is never an issue, but coming in too low is you have to renegotiate the price or you might have to bring more money to closing. Um, if you're FHA or VA, there might be some repairs that, that they're calling for for the seller to complete. Um, but other than that, that's generally the only issues you might have with an appraisal. Um, as long as everything is gathered, gathered paperwork-wise and the appraisal comes in, your lender then submits all of your paperwork to their underwriter for the final approval. Once the, pro the, the loan is final approved, they might get back some conditions. Hey, we need this document signed. We need one more pay stub. We need another year of tax returns. We might need a lease. Whatever the underwriter is looking for, your lender then gathers, resubmits it to the underwriter, and you get your final approval. When you have that final approval, the, un the lender and the title company that you order title insurance company insurance with are gonna work together to go back and forth to make sure all of the numbers are correct on both your settlement sheet or your ALTA, as they call it, and the closing disclosure, which is the lender's ALTA. Basically, they're the same forms, they say the same things. One of them are for title, one is for the lender. So as long as the, the CD and the ALTA matches up, we're ready to go and ready to close. You already had a scheduled closing date. You you do your uh, you sent have a settlement notice sent out saying what time and what on that date you're going to be settling, and where. Uh, a day before closing or the day of closing, you normally do a final walkthrough to ensure that the property is being delivered to you broom swept, and any repairs the seller had to complete were completed prior to settlement. You also call the the utility companies to have the utilities switched into your name effective the date of closing if you have to do that uh, and 
in addition, your lender at that point should be giving you your final amount needed to get your check or your wire over to the title company to close. So those are your steps getting a property from under contract to the closing table. Sometimes there are some little intricacies in there, but for the most part, that's the general outline of how you get a home once you go under contract and once you get to closing. Look forward to filling you in on some more tips uh, about being a buyer. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, my number is 484-744-4053. Email address williamholderrealty at gmail.com uh, or at williamholderrealty.com. Have a great day.